Hey guys, welcome to part two. Let's see how to fill in the new information in the deck log book. The new information is usually filled in by second officer and is as follows. Position of the ship at noon, latitude and longitude. Time at sea. This is the time calculated from beginning of sea passage to noon. Time River Port Passage. This is the time calculated starting from stand by engine at berth to beginning of sea passage on departure from the port, and then from end of sea passage to finish with engine at berth on arrival. Days Run Time. This is the time from noon to noon. If there has been no clock change, it is 24 hours. If the ship's clock has been advanced or retarded due to a change of time zones, it is 23 hours and 25 hours respectively. Days run distance. This is the distance traveled by the ship from noon to noon. Days average speed. This is calculated as the ratio of days run distance to days run time. Total distance. Here it is the distance that the vessel traveled from beginning of sea passage to noon. Distance river to berth. Distance from stand by engine at berth to beginning of sea passage and then from end of sea passage to finish with the engine at berth. Clock setting. If the ship's clock has been advanced or retarded due to time zone changes, then it's plus one hour or minus one hour respectively. Total time difference. The time zone in which the vessel is located. Distance left or more often the distance to go. Here this is the distance from noon to pilot boarding ground. Voyage speed. This is calculated by total distance divided by time at sea. Chronometer error at UTC. The time at which the error was determined. Daily rate. The change in chronometer error in 24 hours. Usually entries are made in the chronometer rate book. Current, set and drift. Changes in movement of a vessel's intended course due to current. Set is the direction of movement. Drift is the speed of movement. Another way to say it is the distance traveled in nautical miles in one hour. Fuel consumption and fuel balance. This data is taken from engineers. Let's also take a look at another page of this deck log. Here are some checks that should also be done and noted by the second officer. Synchronized watches. Sound signal equipment. The manually operated and electric whistle. General alarm button is usually checked at noon. Smoke detecting device. Emergency battery. Domestic water or more often fresh water consumption and balance. Total ballast water and when regulation lights exhibited. In practice at sea, the lights are always on. Okay guys, that's it, but let's take a quick look at another deck log book of a slightly different format, but probably more popular. What we can find there. Also, ship's position at noon. Course made good. This is your course on the chart that you are following at noon. Distances. Here distances are taken from stand by engine at berth to noon, and then from noon to noon. The second officer may separate the river and see distances for his convenience. Observed, this is the distance by GPS, log distance by log, and engine distance, asked from engineers. Total distances. Here distances are taken from stand by engine at berth to noon. Distance to go. Distance to pilot. Steaming time. 
the time the vessel has traveled from stand by engine at birth to noon, and then from noon to noon. The second officer may separate the river time and see time for his convenience. Total steaming time. The time the vessel has traveled from stand by engine at birth to present noon. Speeds, average from noon to noon and total average. RPM. This is revolutions per minute of the ship engine. Engine slip. Slip is the difference between the speed of the engine and the actual observed speed of the ship. You can take it from engineers or calculate with a formula. Engine distance minus ship's distance and divide by engine's distance and then multiply by 100 and you'll get the slip in percentage. Okay, guys, everything else is the same, like fresh water, fuel consumption and remarks on currents, drifts, birth depths, etc. Thank you for watching. See you in the next videos.